Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Big Pharma. Some of you might realize that a lot of the stuff that we have in here has changed. I have done some rearrangements in order to get some more space. Now I have gotten rid of quite a few products. Let's have a look into the companies tab. You can see now we have just a few selected cures which are giving me a whole lot of money at least enough. We have gotten rid of level 1 cures such as diabetes, the painkiller, hypertension, soothers rash, gouts and the cold cure. We have also gotten rid of some level 2 cures such as the hyperthyroidism, the migraine, asthma, angina and acne and also one level 3 cure which just wasn't making enough profit for my taste, the anti-seizure. Another thing that I have done in between the episodes, I have actually researched all of the ingredients we now have all of the freaking ingredients we have upgraded them all to the very max and I have actually fired all of my explorers now that they are of no more use to us the same thing counts for the research I have just freaking explored everything and upgraded to the max there was just one or two things to go from the previous episode but the main part that I have done is actually rearranged most of my production lines only this part right here isn't arranged at the moment this right here is completely finished we're gonna leave this until we end the series and this is just perfectly used up space right here giving us tons of profits this right here is finished as well on the top here I'm starting to fill out another one of these rooms and as I said this one right here I still have to rearrange but you get my basic drift we are still making over two thousand dollars per tick or at least this tick it's between 1500 and 2000 and most of the time yeah there you go even even higher sometimes two thousand 500 it's crazy it's crazy we have 7 million funds it's basically just going after the most complex cures right now so if we have a look into the cures tab I also know what we have finished we have finished the blood family this doesn't continue here anymore we also have finished the lungs family cures tuberculosis is the last one and we have finished the pains family all the way up to anesthetics which means we should be able now to finish maybe this tree the body response by making the cancer vaccine. However, I'm not gonna aim for these lower level cures anymore. For instance, if we are gonna go for the liver tree, we are gonna go to the combat liver disease and then we're gonna try to upgrade it right away. I'm not going for profit anymore. We have money to throw out of the window. It doesn't matter anymore. I just want to go for the most complex cures and another idea that you guys gave me is to actually combine a bunch of cures together to get like the ultimate cure, like an anesthetic, with a bowel syndrome cure mixed up with some reduced stroke risk and so on and so forth. Just make this a really valuable cure. However, let's go for the cancer vaccine first, which means treats diabetes is our starting point. We are gonna need a whole lot of catalysts. So maybe I thought this one right here could be a good start. Treats diabetes, we have this right here on the top. And let's see, in order to upgrade this, we have to get it to 10 and ionize. So let's agglomerate and evaporate that guy. And then, what was it? An ionizer, I believe. We're gonna do this right here. And we continue as such. And we're gonna have our ionizer on the top right there. Okay, beautiful. Let's see what we get so far. Yep, and as expected, of course, we are at the hyperthyroidism stage. Now we need to go to fight cancer with a catalyst. The catalyst we're gonna pop in right here and we can use either of these three. Hmm, Cures Hyperthyroidism was on the third slot, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this one. So we will not be getting too many bad effects, though we have Induces Nightmare on the first slot. Yeah, I think we should take this ingredient and then shake it once. That is the best solution in my opinion. We're just gonna test it out. Where could we shake it? I guess we're just gonna have to shake it right here. Oh guys, this is gonna be our first level 5 key. This is gonna be crazy. Let's also go with a multi mixer and we're gonna place that right here. Now let's have this lead into there and we want to toggle the base and have the other ingredients lead in there too. And now we are getting, yes, we have the catalyst and not more side effects. That is good. Now we have to use a chromatograph at level two. So minus five, ionize and dissolve twice. The ionizer we're gonna use right here and we can dissolve into this general direction and 
probably we're gonna take a curve right here. Yeah, we need at least two spaces right here in order to be able to drag the ingredients outwards. So that should be working out theoretically. Okay, there we go. We got it at the right concentration and now we need to use a chromatograph which will increase the concentration by 10 and we can do this upwards. This kind of adds up perfectly, I believe. Okay, there we go. It's upgrading to fight cancer. The next stage would be multiple sclerosis, but we need yet another catalyst. We could get rid of this catalyst, but this costs us a lot. Let's see, if we imported the other catalyst, what options do we have? We have this option and this option. Which one is better? This one is in the fourth slot or we have one in the first slot. Let's import this one first and just check out what happens. Also, if I have a look in the cures tab, we can see that we actually need this catalyst in the next stage. So we can actually import both catalysts at the same time using this ingredient. Yeah, and then this one could be our output. What do you think? Okay, let's see. We do have have to get rid of some effects anyways. Ah, never mind. We cannot import both catalysts at the same time just because we cannot get rid of enough effects and then combine the stuff correctly. I mean, what we could try is to get rid of this permanent paralysis. We need a sequencer at concentration 11. That is minus 6. Do I want to do that? That would be ionizing it twice and then a sequencer. Oh no, the sequencer is huge. It's just freaking huge. I don't believe this. Holy bejeez, we're not gonna have enough space do we so right here we're gonna need another catalyst anyway so we can maybe hook this up right here yep we can definitely have this guy right there and then we have to ionize it once more and maybe we can do this just up here if i'm lucky no we are not able to do that but you know what maybe if we are lucky we could do something else let's actually check this out you know we're just gonna try it out so it's gonna go into this direction ionizing it twice and then we can use the sequencer but we have to use it before the mixer that is actually a bad plan so another idea would be to actually sequence it somehow right here oh, come on help me out here how can I do this we have to change something in this production line already we're gonna have that right here yeah that's gonna be much better now it's gonna lead into here and then all around here and now we theoretically have some more space we're gonna need eventually a multi mixer this ingredient can run into there immediately. This one here we first have to sequence somehow. But the sequencers in and outputs are not the way I would like them to be of course. Not working out. We're just gonna have this run all the way through here along the side. And now we have to figure out the solution man. We can do it. I believe in us. Not working out. Okay we have some more space maybe around here. We could theoretically ironize this already here. Yes. Here, here we can do it. Ionize it right there and then have this lead into here and then into the sequencer and now we can have both lines go into the mixer. It actually did work out. We still obstructed the slot, but completely without obstructing slots, it's not gonna be possible. However, we can now have this go into here. Let's actually see what is happening right now. And it is sequencing stuff, which means we get rid of the paralysis. There we go, the permanent paralysis is gone. And now theoretically, we should combine this. And now we do have the catalyst in order to upgrade this. We only have to get it up to a concentration of 19. Oh man, now the opposite of a ultraviolet cure would be really, really handy. Oh well, let's just use a chromatograph which would bring us to 12. So that is still seven to go. That is not good, not good. Should we go through all the trouble of agglomerating stuff? Agglomerated twice, evaporated once. That would bring us to nine and yeah, we can do something like that. Let's just freaking do it, man. So this is gonna be hooked up right there. And we are gonna go back up somehow. And then we are gonna go back down. Can we do this more space efficient, I wonder? We could use the D, we could use the evaporator in between somehow uh, somewhat like this yeah this is the most space efficient I think and then agglomerate it once more no like so okay let's see what we end up with actually this is gonna bring us yeah all the way up and now it needs to go through all of these machines it's just crazy however we are at the correct stage to sequence this once more you are gonna be right here yeah this is kind of perfect and let's see what is happening with the 
key ingredient fights cancer is upgraded to multiple sclerosis. Was that what I was going for? Yes, indeed. And now we have to upgrade to cancer vaccine. Holy bougies. We can get rid of this using the ultraviolet cure. And I think we should do that. So ultraviolet cure. Uh, this is getting insane slowly but surely. So do we want to go back up or maybe back down? Yeah, look at that. That is going to be filled out like crazy. And in here we can have our last ingredient. So that is four ingredients we are importing for this cure. And it is going to be this one, right? Because I don't have this catalyst on anything else. No, this is our only option here. So we can get rid of this blackout side effect, which means we have the spot free. So we will have to shake this ingredient once so that this catalyst is on the fourth spot. Shake it, merake it. Where are we going to do that? Oh man, oh man. I don't think we have too much space for more cures. However, I will now occasionally in between the episodes also rearrange some stuff so that we are more space efficient. Of course, as long as I don't know the amount of machinery involved into a cure, it's hard to plan ahead. However, we can have this run into there. Great. Let's see what the next step is going to be. Ultraviolet cure gets rid of that. Okay, we can actually go ahead and mix stuff together already. We are going to require at least an output slot. So this is going to be our output slot, which I have obstructed. I will have to take this into consideration. We could maybe have it right here. It really depends on the last steps that we have to take. We can then have this go around there. Okay, now we theoretically have the space. And how can we arrange this the best? Maybe, no, that's not good. I don't believe this. Freaking chromatograph is just too big. Maybe we can do something about this sequencer by having it go there. And no, this doesn't give us enough space. This even takes us more space. We could have the shaker right here. That would be a good idea. And then here. No, just nothing adds up really. I want to figure out where I actually have to go with this cure. So we're just gonna have this run into there and this one into here for the time being. But yeah, we are gonna end up not having having enough space for this one. Okay, let's see. Do we want to keep that? No, we want to toggle the base, right? Okay, let's see. Now we do have the catalyst and we would have to bring it up to five and then we need a hardened collider, which I believe is probably huge. Yeah, look at that. It <laughs> What am I producing here? I'm producing the liver disease, which is actually quite worth it. So yeah, give me just a second to rearrange that. I'm gonna produce this cure right here instead. Okay, there we go. I just moved everything right here. It is not a very beautiful production line, but it will work out. And now we actually do have the space to continue here. So let's bring this bad boy up four more by using an agglomerator and an evaporator. And I'm definitely gonna gonna end up rearranging this too so that we can actually fit it into a room more space efficient. Right now there's a lot of free space that we might have been able to use a little bit more efficiently. However, right now I'm just interested to actually finish this cure and check out the profits that we're making. This is our first level 5 cure. So Hardron Collider, let's do that. Oh man, this thing is just freaking huge. I don't believe this. And also, by the way, the Hardron Collider will activate everything basically. Yeah, it activates all concentrations at the same time. So all the effects that we have are actually going to be on there. So even the bad effects. However, let's just run this through this collider first and see what is actually happening. Collide, collide, collide. Oh, the processing time is four of this guy. That is crazy. Maybe we want to use two hardened colliders actually. Yeah, but there we go. The cancer vaccine. All of the effects are active. I think we want to get rid of this one. Oh, can we do that? I don't know. Can we get rid of this effect still? Theoretically, the parameters are given. You know, all the concentrations are active and therefore also the concentration needed in order to remove the effect. Yes, indeed. We could get rid of effect, which means we can now go to our creamer and actually make a cream out of that. Now I'm really slacking with the space efficiency. <laughs> 
But, you know, I just wanted to get this cure started. In between the episodes, I will think of a better arrangement for this processing line. But just so that we get an idea what is behind all of this. And what do we get? We get a Soothes Cough and Cancer Vaccine. With a little bit of inflamed skin. <laughs> so let's do that. Cancer Vaccine. And what is our profit? The profit isn't too high just yet. But this might be a really good cream eventually and of course we know that will result in way 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 more money. I will also think about using two hardened colliders actually you know kind of next to each other. They have their input and output slots very conveniently placed so that it is easy to actually make a production line of those guys. Ooh, however guys I think we now have finished this branch. Yeah look at that we cannot upgrade this anymore so let me update that in my notes that I have right here. We have finished the bottom body response tree right here. All of these cures are done, which means the only thing left in this tree is probably the bowel syndrome. And then we have a bunch of those guys. And as I said, we are going to try to go for the highest level cures right away from the start. So with these guys, we will kind of have to wing it and then again, probably do some rearrangements. However, guys, I think at this point, I'm going to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed it. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye bye.